Okay, so the basic idea is it's, it's going to be a circle within a square. So the, the big uh, red osier dogwood sphere, the ball holding the, the sculpture itself, is hidden within this cube made from uh, two by two cedar uh, that'll be 48 inches, 48 by 48 on each face. And so all people will see is the main structural support of the cross and this cube sitting on it with the elm figures outside of the cube leaning towards it. The idea being that the first fire will be the figures themselves and from there the fire will follow into the cube, uh, burning out the cube, revealing the center. Now the center itself is representing, it's representing birth, it's representing the Big Bang, it's representing woman. Let's uh, grab that guy and then we'll stand it up. We'll have a look at that. Well, we're starting to get this squared up now. It's starting to turn into a yeah. beam or two beams we're going to use for this Here's the, the, the two wonderful off. burn project that Paul Moran's working on. You see the process here with the mill? Still looking a little knobby here, but. Two skins off on this over here, you can get to take a picture of. And then of course we got our little totems happening here that we took off of the log. We'll take those along for effect, I think. The beam's ready to go. We're going to transport those to Alton, to the Alton Mill. We'll do our joinery there to mate them up. There's Doug and Randy, <laughs> Sawyer's at large. There you go, Paul. Hope you like this. With the help of Brian, Doug and Randy, the platform itself was now complete. I decided to suspend it up high so that there would be a lot of updraft for the flame. So the idea is to come up with a, a symbol uh, representing woman or seed or, or birth. So I'm thinking of a, a piece of cut steel with this, whatever, whether it's a symbol like this, I've come up with a few different like sort of duality, sort of the female is what I'm coming with. I kind of like this with two circles. Um, from there, I took the idea, again, still keeping in with the idea of C, sort of a yin-yang kind of thing, and some of the older symbols that I had created. And then just playing with simple arcs, because I like the circle within the circle I idea, uh, but it looks a little too um, the Christian fish in, in that incarnation. But looking at it and spinning it around, I came up with um, a usage where it would be this, this circle shape within the circle shape. So it's basically an angel uh, or a female or a seed pod. Uh, it's within that red osier dogwood willow sort of structure. So again, cube with the circle inside it. Inside that circle would be the sculpture. And just some of the cues I've got here is the, the womb. So this, if this is a female figure, the, the hole that represents her womb would actually be her head, her consciousness, so that the seed becomes conscious growth uh, in that way. Seed womb. And I say, as I say, it, it, it's, it's referencing uh, all beginnings, including the Big Bang. 
negative positive energy, energy coming down to the center and then back radiating back up to the sky. So again, I still see it cut out of a piece of steel, uh, 48 inches in diameter, with the uh, angel figure here some, somehow. And I'm probably not going to uh, include the top of the circle, so it would be more like this version here, where we see the, the seed opening, the sprout, the plant itself being growth, but it still represents that woman, that woman figure. The above and below, seed becomes life, womb becomes head. A good friend of mine offered his fabrication shop and there Andrew Webster and I set about to transfer the design into cut steel. Ultimately, I had Andrew buff the surface so that we actually had a mirror-like quality. I wanted it to be able to reflect the flame at the same time being silhouetted by it from behind. I knew I was going to be dealing with backlight, foreground light, and wanted it to appear nice on the burn. I'm only taking trees that are down. There's a lot of birch down in the forest uh, this year. I think because the roots don't go low, they don't go deep, they just spread out. Another dead birch leaning up in trees. I'll harvest it next year for the wood. It's going to get some easy peel bark. I next built a scale model using the materials basically to test their combustibility and uh, plan the sequence of time. The structures themselves revealed this beautiful organic nature. The idea was to test the materials and plan out what kind of combustibles I would need uh, to properly ignite this whole thing. Well, I think already I know the barbecue fluid seems better. 
but I'm gonna paint the bottom of this in the fluid. Oh, it looks cool how it's just getting kind of like, you made a rainbow. You made two rainbows. So that'll all be soaked. Air. So the figures will hopefully light. Oh, Watch. So that's supposed to be the burning figure, and then it catches that, and that is going to catch. See, then that Whoa. that burns away, and that catches the birch. It's working. It's going fast. Whoa. Another component to it, this is the part that George is involving himself with, is uh, the barrel. So there will be a male and female barrel. Uh, the original idea was to have a union of the barrels uh, be like this bridge between them. But I think we're, we're not, we're excluding this component now. It'll be just the two barrels with the idea that the installation itself, the fire burn, is the child product of the union of the male-female. So the uh, male Mayan fe uh, symbol will be here, the female Mayan symbol will be on the other barrel. Uh, vent holes cut into the bottom. These are just 45 gallon or 55 gallon uh, drums, steel drums, with the uh, George is gonna do the cuts into. So the burn was to take place inside the annex, uh, the ruin feature at the mill. And on the site uh, where Doug Bell, a mason, had built a stone ship. So I've suspended the cross above that. The next stage was to uh, mount the elm figures, one at each of the four points. It was neat because now the installation was starting to occupy the space. George also uh, took it upon himself to uh, design a barrel with the Alton Mill logo uh, on it. <laughs> and then stepped up to create two brands, one each for the male and female symbol, which could then be burned right into the cross. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
In all, it took about a cubic meter of cedar and birch bark stuffed inside the sphere and then concealed in burlap. I wanted burlap because I knew it would interact with the flames. And then that was concealed by the cube. We began the whole performance with the primal sound of the didgeridoo.